Today we're going to learn how to convert a mesh to volume to convert it on points. For example, to create stars. So let's see. Let's do the camera, the light, go to Geometry Notes, create a new profile. I'm going to hide this panel and let's use, for example, an ecosphere. Let's connect it here. So we have this ecosphere. And basically, what I want is to convert this ecosphere to a volume to later add points inside of this volume, of this mesh. So first of all, we need to use mesh to volume. This one. And basically, this node converts a mesh to a volume. What's a volume? A volume is like this type of fog that basically, if we try to render this, it's not going to appear. So we need to do something always with this volume. Convert it in a mesh or, for example, point. So how this node works? It's really easy. We have density. So density basically is like the amount of fog. For example, if I decrease this, as you can see, it disappears. And if we increase it, it's more dense. So this later means that we will have more points. But don't worry, now you're going to see it. This, this is like the resolution. So if we decrease this voxel amount, as you can see, we have like lower resolution. So we have like more pixeled volume. If I reduce it a lot, in some point we have a cube. As you can see, it's like one single pixel. To see it better, what I'm going to do is to convert again this to a mesh using volume to mesh. So with this, basically, we are doing the same, but in the other direction. And now I'm using only this to show you how this works. So if we increase this, as you can see, we have more resolution. So we can see better the shape of the icosphere. However, if I decrease this, it's going to have less resolution. So we cannot see too much the shape of the ecosphere. So as you can see, the faces are bigger. That's how this works. And this is just to decrease the size from outside. But to see this, let's delete this. And let's, oh, by the way, let me do something. If I select here size, the only difference is this. So when we use amount, we work with the amount of pixels. So that means that we have more resolution. And if we select size, now the pixels is based on size. So if we increase this, that means that we will have less resolution because we are increasing the size of this voxel. And if we decrease it, that means that we have more resolution. So this is just the same, but with a different type of feature inverted, amount and size. OK. Now let's write this, and now let's convert this volume. So let's use distribute points in volume, not on faces, in volume. So thanks to this, we are going to add points inside the volume. As you can see, now we have a few points, and we can control the number of points with the density or density of the points. So if I increase this, as you can see, I'm increasing the density, remember, of the volume. So that means that we have more points. By the way, really important, I'm going to select this zero to see the difference. So what is this? If you increase this value, you are saying like, basically, is to do a transition from outside. So that means that in this part will be less density, less points, less volume. So if I increase this, as you can see, in the outside, we have less points. Even so, if I increase this, look, before, after. So we can control the number of points with this density or this density. So decide which one do you want, this number of seat. And now we are working with random. So here means that it's adding random points inside this volume. But you can decide, for example, grid. And basically, what those is to distribute points like a grid. So it's perfectly aligned, as you can see. And here we can define the spacing between this grid. So if you want more points, then you need to reduce these values. You can do it in a single axis, for example, something like that. Or what you can do is to control everything with a value. And if you increase, we are increasing the spacing. So we have less points. And if we reduce this number, we're adding more and more points. 
Be aware because if you reduce too much, you're adding a lot, a lot of points. To see how many points we have now, I'm going to select here the spreadsheet. And here we can see the number of points that now we have. So now we have 2,500. That's a lot of points. So if you decrease this a lot, be aware because sometimes the program can be frozen and you lost the project. And if you don't want to use a grid, then use random. So that's all. That's how it works. And obviously, if you increase the size of the original mesh, you're going to have more points. As you can see right now, if I increase this, that means more points, as you can see here. So you can increase the size and later reduce the density if you want. Here or here, remember. And you can convert an image to points. For example, let's use simple cube. Let's get it here. And let's make it bigger. And now you can see we have a cube full of points inside of this volume. And remember, you can play with this value. If you want more points or the same amount of points, more or less, around all the volume. And if you want less points outside, then increase this. And you can add more. Or decrease. And you can use any mesh. For example, let's use a comb. Let's make it bigger. So now we have a cone full of points. Or for example, what we can do is to use a Susan. And now as you can see, we have a Susan converted to points. So let's come back to this atmosphere. And basically what I want right now is to create like stars. So first of all, I'm going to add more subdivisions. So we have a round shape. Actually, we could use a UV sphere, but it's fine. Let's use this. And I don't want so many points, so I'm going to decrease this and this. So I want something like, let's check something like this maybe. And I want to create like a space. So I'm going to increase this and decrease this, something like this. And now let's convert these points to instance with instance on points. And let's use, for example, UV spheres. Let's make it smaller, something like this. And actually what I want is to give random value, is to use random value to give random scales, as you can see. So it looks better. And what I want is to add shade smooth because we can see the polygons. So let's add set shade smooth. And now it's perfectly smooth. And what I want is to add a set material, of course. And let's make it a mid light. So let's go here, decrease the light of the background. And now let's go to the material and use emission, for example, one. And let's make it glow. So to make it glow, I'm working in Blender 4.2. So first of all, we need to go here and enable this always in Compositor. And now we have to go to Compositor, enable this, and here bring the glare node. And let's use, for example, Bloom. And now we cannot see too much. I'm going to hide this panel because I need to increase the strain. So as you can see, if we increase a bit, now we can see this bloom. Let's come back to geometry nodes. And now we have like this space stars, how you want to call it. If there is too much points, remember, you can decrease the number of points. But if you want to delay, for example, the points, the stars that are really close to the center, so to make it more realistic, when you want to move around this, what we can do is to use, for example, the late geometry and the late by length. So let's use position. And now let's use vector math. Let's select length. And now let's use greater than. And let's continue here. So basically, with this, 
we are going to delete all the geometry based in the length from this position. So right now we cannot see anything, and if we increase this, it's going to appear stars based on this position. So if I decrease this, as you can see, it's delating everything that is greater than this distance, than this length from the center. But what I want is the opposite. So I don't want to do this. I want to delete inside of this sphere. So I'm going to select less than. So with this, now I can delete stars points from the center. If I increase this a lot, you will see that we have less and less points in the middle, as you can see right now. So we can create this look if we are in the center. I'm going to hide these lines. So if we move the camera, looks much better like we are in the space. So with this value, you can add more stars in the middle or less. And if you want to add different colors, random colors, to these points, to this instance, what we can do is to go to the shade editor. And here we need to use object info. And really important, we need to use random. So thanks to this, now we are going to have random colors based in a gradient. But really important, let's add the color run, the gradient. So if you want to add different colors, for example, I don't know, you can do from this color to this color. And it should work. And now it's not working. Why is not working? Let me think. Why is not working this? That's interesting. And I think the problem is that hmm, that's really interesting. Is not working because, of course, because I'm using emission. So now the important color is this one. For example, if I select zero and I come back here, you will see it's working. However, if we use emission, then, for example, two, then we need to connect this here. And now it's going to work. Yes, as you can see, now it's working perfectly. And if you want more colors, you have to use, for example, this one or this one, and use far. And the only thing you have to do is to select, for example, the same color from here to here. And we are going to have all these colors because doing a full cycle. So you can see right now we have like this Christmas effect stars with different colors. And you can play with these values to create animations. For example, if you want, you can add here and math note, I did that a lot of tutorials, and use fraction, what is fraction, and if you increase this, look, we are going to change the color of every point, based in this gradient. I recommend you to try to play with different colors to get different effects. So, I hope you learned something new, and if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.